Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. So far, six problems I have completed on cash flow statement analysis. In this video, seventh and eighth, two more problems I am going to explain you. So before explanation, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep the problems ready. Take the screenshot of the seventh and eighth answer. Then I will explain all the points in detail. See the seventh problem. From the following figures, calculate cash from operating activities. We are not required to make the cash flow statement. It is simply asking you to calculate the cash from operating activities. Here balances are given uh, on 31st December 2019 and 31st December 2020. So last year 19 and current year 20. Balance of PL account last year 25,000. Current year 1,55,000. When profit and loss account balance increases, it means there is a profit during the year. So how much profit earned during the year? 1,55,000 minus 25,000. So here calculation of cash from operating activities increase in profit and loss account 1,55,000 minus 25,000. So 1,30,000 is the profit. To this, we have to adjust non-cash, non-operating items. But in our problems, we are not given any non-cash, non-operating. We are given debtors, creditors, bills receivable, prepaid expense, bills payable, outstanding expense, outstanding income, income received in advance. All these are the current assets and current liabilities. So to the profit for the year, we adjust working capital changes. So for working capital changes, already we have applied in the previous problems the rule. Increase in current liability <clears throat> and decrease in current assets should be added. If the current liability increases, it should be add. If the current asset decreases, then it should add. The opposite will be deducted. That means if the current liability decreases, it should deduct. Or current assets increases. It should deduct. So this rule you have to apply. Increase in current liability, decrease in current assets should be added. Now one by one. First, debtors. Remember, debtors are trade receivable, and this is the current asset. So debtor last year forty five thousand, current year forty two. Decrease in debtors, decrease in current asset should be added. So here decrease in debtors add three thousand. How 3,000 difference? 45 minus 42, 3,000. Next, second, creditor. Creditor is a current liability. The last year 20, current year 26. Increase in creditor. Increase in current liability added. So increase in creditors add 6,000. Next comes bills receivable. It is a current asset. Last year 12,000, current year 15,000. Increase in current asset deduct minus so increase in bills receivable minus 3000 minus means bracket we have to deduct then prepaid expenses it's a current asset last year 1600 current year 1400 decrease in current asset should be added so decrease in prepaid expenses should be added to it next bills payable it's a current liability Last year 18,000, current year 16,000. So decrease in current liability, it should be deducted minus. So decrease in bills payable minus 2,000. Next comes outstanding expenses. This is a current liability. Last year 1,200, current year 1,600. Increase in current liability added. So increase in outstanding expenses added. Next one, outstanding income. Outstanding income means income receivable. It's a current asset. So last year 800, current year 900, increase in current asset should be deducted. Minus. So income, increase in outstanding income, minus 100. Lastly, income received in advance. 
इट्स ए करंट लायबिलिटी तो लास्ट ईयर 250 करंट ईयर 300 इंक्रीज इन करंट लायबिलिटी शुड बी एडेड तो इंक्रीज इन इनकम रिसीव्ड इन एडवांस एडेड 50 ऑल द आइटम्स आई हैव एक्सप्लेन व्हिच वन टू बी एडेड व्हिच वन टू बी डिडक्टेड नाउ सिंपली वेयर एवर देयर इज ब्रैकेट सबट्रैक्ट तो 130000 प्लस 3000 प्लस 6000 माइनस 3000 प्लस टू हंड्रेड माइनस टू थाउजेंड प्लस फोर हंड्रेड माइनस हंड्रेड प्लस फिफ्टी यूल गेट वन लैक थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव फिफ्टी दिस इज द कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी दैट्स इट नाउ सी द एथ प्रॉब्लम द फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ राम ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी टू एंड थर्टी डिसंबर ट्वेंटी वॉज एज फॉलोस So here liability is an asset argument. One point you have to remember: if it is a sole trading concern, then profit is adjusted in capital. Previous problem it was a company. So in a company, the profit will be kept separately in P&L account or reserves. It will not be added to capital. Whereas in case of sole trading concern, the profit is included in capital. So we use capital to find out. Cash flow from operating activity. Here the business is of Ram, so he is a sole trader, right? So profit is included in capital. Liability side, creditor is a current liability. Mrs. Ram's loan last year zero, current year twenty thousand. That means during the current year loan taken from Mrs. Ram, it will come under financing activity. Loan from bank last year thirty thousand, current year twenty five thousand, decreased. That means during the current year loan repaid, repayment of bank loan, it will come under financing activity. Capital will make use capital to find out cash flow from operating activity. See here, Ram cash flow statement for the year ended thirty first December twenty seventeen. Cash flow from operating activity increase in capital. Last year capital one lakh forty eight thousand, current year one lakh forty nine thousand. So one lakh forty nine minus one lakh forty eight one thousand is the profit. Now adjustment for non cash non operating items. Here we will see cash debtor stock land building machinery. During the year the proprietor withdrew twenty six thousand for domestic purpose. It is called drawings. When the owner withdraws the money for personal use, it is called drawings. Money is going out of the business. It will appear twice. First of all, it's a non-operating expense, so we will add up here. So here you can see, first we have taken one thousand. Now drawings twenty-six thousand. It will be taken as a non-cash operate non-operating expense. Sorry, non-operating expense. So twenty-six. Again, this twenty-six thousand will be shown under financing activity because there is a cash outflow of the business. So here. In financing activity, you can see here drawings twenty six thousand, because this is cash outflow. That's why I am putting it in bracket. But here simply you have to add up. Don't take in bracket, right? It's a non operating expense. It will be added to profit. So drawing is the new point. Next, the provision for depreciation against machinery on first January twenty seventeen was. Twenty seven thousand and on thirty first December twenty seventeen was thirty six thousand. The beginning of the year provision for depreciation on machinery twenty seven thousand. End of the year provision is thirty six thousand. So how much depreciation increased? So thirty six minus twenty seven nine thousand rupees is the depreciation on machinery. So this depreciation on machinery is a non cash item. So here you can see. Depreciation on machinery thirty six minus twenty seven nine thousand. Now see here. We will open machinery account because depreciation is given. No depreciation on land. No depreciation on building. It is given depreciation only on machinery. So we have opened one machinery account here. Opening balance. So last year machinery balance was eighty thousand. End of the year eighty six thousand. Beginning of the year machinery value eighty thousand. End of the year eighty six thousand. So opening value debit side to balance brought down eighty thousand. And end of the year closing balance eighty six thousand credit side. 
depreciation provided during the year 9000 that is taken on the credit side now take the total on the credit side 86 plus 9 95000 is the total from 95000 the opening balance 80000 direct 95 minus 80 15000 worth of machinery purchased during the year debit side is less so balancing figure 15000 this 15,000 is the purchase of machinery by preparing the account we come to know it is not given in the problem by making the account 15,000 is the purchase of machinery this 15,000 purchase of machinery will be taken under investing activity see here where is that cash flow from oh, sorry here uh, cash flow from investing activity purchase of machinery 15,000 when there is purchase cash outflow that's why bracket 15,000 in bracket so now come to asset side cash opening and closing balance of cash will take it lastly in the cash flow statement debtor is a current asset stock is a current asset land land last year 20,000 current year 30,000 the land value increased because further land is purchased the assumption is Further land is purchased during the year. So purchase of land, investing activity. So here you can see purchase of land, 10,000. Bracket because there is cash outflow. Similarly, building. Building last year 50,000, current year 55,000. Increase in the value of building. That is also on account of purchase. The so purchase of building, 5,000. Right? Then machinery. Already we have taken purchase of machinery. 15,000. That's all. We have taken all the items. Now simply we have to find out what are the changes in working capital. So here 1,000 plus 9,000 plus 26. 36,000 is the cash operating profit before working capital changes. Now adjustment for working capital changes. Current assets and current liability. Only one current liability is given that is credit all. Last year 36, current year 41. So 5,000 creditors increased. Increase in current liability that should be added. So increase in creditors add. So here increase in creditors add 5,000. Next comes to asset side, debtors. Last year debtors 35,000, current year 38,400. So 3,400 debtors increased. Increase in current asset should be deducted. So increase in debtors minus 3400 in bracket because we have to deduct. Next to stock. Last year 25,000, current year 22,000. Decrease in stock means decrease in current asset should be added. So decrease in stock add 3000. That's all. All current assets, current liability, we have adjusted 36,000 plus 5,000 minus 3,400 plus 3,000. 40,600 is the cash generated from operating activities. Now cash flow from investing activity, purchase of land, purchase of building, purchase of machinery, all outflows. There is no inflow in investing activity. All the three outflows. The total 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 15,000 is minus 30,000. So 30,000 is the cash used in investing activity. Now lastly, cash flow from financing activity. For financing activity, you see Mrs. Ram's loan. Last year it was not there. Beginning of the year it was not there. End of the year 20,000. That means during the current year loan taken from Mrs. Ram. So financing activity, loan taken from Mrs. Ram, 20,000. When we take the loan, there is cash inflow. So that's why without bracket, 20,000. Now, loan from bank, last year 30,000, current year 25,000. That means during the current year, bank loan was repaid. How much? 5,000. The loan, repayment of bank loan, 5,000 in bracket. Lastly, drawings. During the year, the owner has withdrawn cash from business for personal use. How much? 26,000. This is also cash outflow. 26,000. Now, 20,000 minus 5,000 minus 26,000, you will get minus 11,000. 
So this 11,000 is the cash used in financing activity, right? Now all the three activities, cash flows we have. Now we find out the net value. So here 40,600 minus 30,000 minus 11,000, you will get minus 400. So net decrease because minus is there. So net decrease in cash and cash equivalent during the year is 400. To this we add opening, beginning of the year, what is the cash that is given in the problem. Cash is 4000. First January, the opening balance of cash is 4000. So cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year, first January 4000. Now 4000 plus minus 400. So 4000 minus 400, 3600 is the cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year. Now we confirm whether our answer is correct or not. See the problem, cash balance 31st December, it is 3600 and we also got 3600. That means our calculations are perfect, correct, that's all. So in this video, I have explained you two problems, 7th and 8th. One more last video I will make on this cash flow statement and that will be the final. So totally 10 problems I have selected on cash flow statement. So inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.